what the benefits of using a grow light are. Ta da! To show you exactly how to install your grow lights. Like that. That's bright. I get so much more light. It goes extremely well. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you are new to my channel, my name is Rachel and I run my own small business here in Auckland, New Zealand. And I make content all about houseplants and related tutorials and vlog style videos as in like weeks in my life, behind the scenes of my business. If that sounds like something that you are interested in, make sure to smash that subscribe button down below. And if you are a returning viewer, hello, it's nice to have you back again. As you already know by the title down below, today's video is going to be all about grow lights. I'm going to be giving you a full explanation on them, what they are, what defines a grow light as a grow light. So you know you're not getting ripped off, what they're beneficial for, and how to use them. It's going to be a information packed video, so make sure to grab yourself a cup of tea, get comfortable. Also, if you do enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button down below as well as it helps my channel out a lot. So, let's get straight into the video. So, Grow Lights are a brand new product that we have coming to our website, www.growandgreen.nz, if you are in New Zealand. If you are overseas, um, you might have to do a little bit of research into where you can buy Grow Lights for yourself, but I do believe that Amazon is a pretty good source for Grow Lights. I'm going to start off by showing you our entire range. We are so excited to be able to stock five different sizes of grow lights for you so there will be a grow light for every occasion, every space in your house. So the first size I have to show you is our tiny little 10 watt bulb and as you can see they all come in this cute little box. It's really protective. They're designed especially for the bulb. As you can see in there, ta -da, it's a super cute little bulb and if I just pull it out like this, there we have the little 10 watt bulb. The second size that we have is the 15 watt bulb. Let's open that up. And there we have the 15 watt bulb. This is our 24 watt bulb. As you can see, it is packaged extremely well. Our 36 watt bulb. And one that literally just got delivered as I'm filming, our 60 watt bulb. Now this one is really cool because it actually opens like that. Ta-da! <laughs> First of all, we are going to dive into what actually a grow light is. What separates a normal bulb from a grow light? So, a grow light can be defined as one that is full spectrum. And basically what this means is that it closely mimics the sun. Now, there's a little bit of controversy around using the term full spectrum for grow lights because technically they're not completely full spectrum if you are comparing them to the sunlight. Um, there's a whole lot of research on this if you want to go check that out on Google. But I'm just going to go into the basics here. But the whole function of a grow light is to mimic the sun's light. So if you have a dark corner, in your room or your house is just a little bit darker in general you can pop a grow light in there and your house plants will essentially be getting more sunlight. These grow lights are also LED which means that they consume less energy than a standard bulb also making them a very energy and cost effective choice. It also means that they give off very little heat as almost all of the electricity is converted into light making them also a safer choice for your plants and they also last a whole lot longer than standard bulbs too. All right so this is the part of the video where the information sort of starts to become a little bit country specific. Please do your research I don't want anyone getting electrocuted or buying a wrong light. So a lot of standard lamps and light fittings here in New Zealand now do have the E27 fitting, which all of these lights do have on them standard. You lamps and stuff may have a bayonet fitting, which is the ones that you push in. Just double check um, if you are going to buy a lamp for these that it does have the E27 screw thingy. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about, the screw thing that you put your light bulb in. So if you turn them around here, you can see on the back, let me hide my face, that is the standard E27 fitting that you just screw into any socket or a lamp. And they all have it. So yeah, just double check the country that you're in, what kind of light fittings you have, because you don't want to buy a grow light and find out that it's got the wrong fitting. There's nothing worse. So I've moved inside my house now to show you exactly how to install your grow light. Now this one is for the standard bulbs up to the 36 watt that we have. All right, let's bring you around and show you exactly how to install it. All right, so. <laughs> Excuse my little face in the corner, but the first thing you're gonna do is to make sure that your lamp is off. Extremely, extremely important. Turn it off. Second step, you are going to take your grow light. This is the 24 watt bulb, and all you're gonna do is you're gonna screw it up into that bit there. Now, a quick tip is to not touch the metal in there. Just kind of screw it in from the light bulb like this, um, so you don't have any issues. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Ta-da! Your grow light is now in. Also, make sure that it is screwed in fairly tightly, but not too tightly. Some of these bulbs are very heavy and you don't want them falling out. And then all you gotta do is switch it on. Whoa, that's bright. <laughs> Look at that. Your plants are gonna love it. 
So as you can see, the difference that the grow light behind me makes in this room is crazy. This is a self-facing room, so it doesn't really get that much light after about 9 a.m. in the morning. So by simply putting in this grow light and aiming it at my plants behind me, you can see that they're going to get so much more light and they're going to be so much happier and they're going to grow way faster. A really quick tip before I move on is to make sure to always clean your layers of your plants as well. This can make a huge difference to the amount of light that they will absorb. So now I'm going to get into explaining what the benefits of using a grow light are for you and your houseplant. So, grow lights are mainly used to help extend daylight hours during the winter season. Because they mimic the sun so closely, they help reduce the effect of darker rooms on winter days. And they're also beneficial to be used year round. If you have a room that's just generally dark, even in summer like this room, having a grow light all year round is really gonna benefit your plants. Or even if you just have like a dark corner in your house, like a little nook on the side or whatever, you can actually just pop a grow light there, one of the smaller ones on a tiny little lamp, and that will obviously do your houseplants good as well. I've even seen instances of people replacing their normal household lights with grow lights and it, it just looks spectacular. It's so good. Another use for grow lights is to be used with propagation. So as you can see here, I have a propagation box on a heat mat and over here I have a grow light. So grow lights, of course, will have the same benefit to any other house plants as they will with your cuttings. What they do is they just speed up the growth of your cuttings as, again, they're getting a little bit more sunlight compared to, for example, this one here and this one below which we do not have a grow light on them so yeah makes quite the difference so that is basically all for today's video i really hope you enjoyed it and i hope you got something useful out of this video if you did please make sure to hit the thumbs up button down below that really helps out my channel and makes me aware of what you guys would like me to create content about if you've picked up one of these or you have grow lights in your home leave me a comment down below on how you're finding them do you find your plants have acted differently with them or not let me know in the comment section down below if you haven't already and you like this video make sure to also hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this tutorials and vlog style videos about weeks in my life and yeah thank you so much for joining me and i will see you in my next video bye